I'm sitting on a swing Watching the world go by Looking at the sky Seeing the clouds flow by To be saved is to be free it is the forgiveness of sins that leads us to freedom in Jesus, a freedom that allows us to more fully enjoy the wonders of life. I'm Father Kevin, and this is a great playground, and you're watching The Kurban Explained. Before we receive Jesus in the Eucharist, we prepare to receive him with the rite of fraction and reconciliation. In the Rasa, it begins with the universal prayer for peace, which then naturally follows the celebration of Christ's resurrection in the Epiclesis. In his resurrection, Jesus shows his power to rescue man from his sinfulness. And so the celebrant prays for peace, the fruit of redemption from sins and reconciliation. He bows as he prays his prayer as a symbol of repentance acknowledging our need for the forgiveness of sins. During this rite, we ask God for forgiveness and beg that our sins may be wiped away, praying in the words of Psalm 51 and Psalm 123. Psalm 51 is attributed to King David and is believed that he composed this psalm, pleading God for forgiveness for the grave sins of killing Uriah the soldier and committing adultery with his wife Bathsheba. By commemorating King David's repentance in the face of his grave unworthiness and sinfulness, the words of the psalm remind us of our own sinfulness and our own need to be cleansed from our sins. Why do we use incense? Who's incensed? No, incense. Incense what? No, incense, like... Oh, you mean incense. That's what I just said. It does smell good. It smells good, but it's so random. Like, we use it so many times during the Kurbana, during the Gospel, during the Hymn of Resurrection, and even sometimes during the Rite of Reconciliation. What is it even for? Yeah, first of all, it does smell good, but that's not why we use it. It's supposed to serve as a symbol of God's love for us, of our prayers rising up to God, of cleansing and sanctification and the presence of God in our midst. Also, that sweet smell is supposed to represent the sweetness of God's love for us. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. No, no, you mean incense. The rite of fraction begins right before the celebrant takes the Eucharist in his hands as he proclaims God's mercy that allows us to receive the Holy Kurbana in spite of our unworthiness. Then the celebrant raises the Eucharist, elevating it before the entire congregation, proclaiming the nature of this living and life-giving bread, which gives life to the whole world. In response to this proclamation, the congregation confesses their faith in the Eucharist with a hymn of adoration. We believe truly that receiving this Eucharist allows us to enter into the presence of God and become heirs to the kingdom of heaven. As the people sing, the celebrant divides the host in two, which represents the body of Jesus being broken for the forgiveness of sins. It also represents the oneness of the people of God in Jesus. As we continue with the rite of reconciliation, the priest removes the veil covering the mysteries called the Shoshapa, which represents the burial cloths of our Lord being cast off by his resurrection. This is a reminder to us, the Lord we worship is risen, truly alive, not just in a past memory, but a present reality. And as the sovereign blesses himself with the sign of the cross, he blesses the congregation, symbolizing the blessing of the risen Christ when he appeared to his disciples. This is the great gift of life we have been given, sharing in the resurrection of our Lord. After the blessing by the celebrant, the deacon of the server invites the congregation in the Carasusa of Reconciliation to ask for mercy and for forgiveness of sins. This prayer is an acknowledgement that every single one of us is a sinner in need of mercy, so that the Lord may pardon us of all our sins and that we may be able to receive the Holy Kurbana. The final prayer in the Rite of Reconciliation is a prayer of absolution, 
the salve and truly acts as a mediator between God and man to bring about the forgiveness of sins. In the remission of our sins, our Lord flips everything over. Now we who are sinful and unworthy are able to enter into the divine presence and receive the body and blood of Jesus. This is why we come here. This is what it's all about. I'm sitting on a swing, watching the world go by. Looking at the sky, seeing.